But down in the desert of New Mexico, the Department of Energy is using a 16 square mile area to create an entirely different kind of barrier to keep people safe. This is the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, or WIP, and the staff is hard at work disposing of intermediate level nuclear waste half a mile beneath the Earth's surface in a salt cavern. This nuclear waste must be isolated for tens of thousands of years. It's extremely dangerous. In 1999, the WIP disposal site opened, and the waste has been arriving steadily ever since. Everything is designed to make sure the waste gets here without incident, even the shipping containers. They have to undergo significant testing. The two pack two is dropped from about 30 feet in multiple configurations. After it's been dropped numerous times, it's put into an engulfing fire of jet fuel for about 30 minutes. Once the waste is in place, the salt cavern will slowly close upon itself, crushing the barrels in less than a thousand years, sealing them off completely. What happens in the meantime? First, there's high security. Allowing nuclear waste to fall into the hands of terrorists could be catastrophic. We do have security officers that are manning the gates and the entryways for people coming on board. We do random patrols, and we also have some officers that do monitoring and surveillance using technology and equipment. But what if security is long gone before the waste becomes safe? In order to protect future generations, the site will need keep out signs that can last thousands of years. One of the requirements DOE had to demonstrate to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, even before WIP was allowed to open, was that we could have a system of controls in place to keep people out for up to 10,000 years. Try thinking up a keep out sign that will last as long as civilization. The use of symbolism is it's a tricky art form. For one culture, the skull and crossbones may represent a hazard or stay away. Other cultures see that as a symbol of life. The best example we have today is the red, yellow, green symbol. That's almost known internationally for stop, go, take caution. The plan is to have 48 surface markers all along the perimeter and inside the facility. An information center will be located in the middle of the site. Both the markers and center will have warnings in six languages of the UN and Navajo, an indigenous language to the region. The lessons we sort of borrowed from are the Rosetta Stone, being able to decipher and decrypt some of those symbols. And we want to follow what we've learned from history and replicate it as much as possible. The disposal process is expected to be complete around 2030. And the site will subsequently close, with security officers remaining. By that time, the cavern will contain all intermediate level, or transuranic, waste in the U.S. About 4 million cubic feet. To put it another way... That's about the same amount of waste that you would have if you put a football field out there and fill that football field about 50 feet high. Still, there's 45,000 tons of high-level nuclear waste in the United States that requires permanent disposal. Any site that proposes to contain it will have to be even more secure. Signs, guards, and gates keep people out of this high-powered hazard.